Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I'm coming to you today, and I know I'm looking a little strange right now. Um, and for my Caribbean people, particularly my, my Trinis, um, no, I am not playing Juve with this in my hair. Um, what this actually is, is my bentonite clay mask. Um, I was watching a video the other day from my girl Nappy Girl 1979, and she did a bentonite clay mask on her locks. Um, when she put her, the clay in her hair, she actually covered it and then rinsed it out as a, sort of a conditioning treatment. But then in her next video, she did a clay mask on her daughter Peyton's hair um, to try to draw some of the lint out of her daughter's hair because Peyton likes to play on the carpet and she gets it in her locks. And so she was hoping that the clay would help to pull that lint out. Um, after she applied the clay to Peyton's hair, she left it uncovered and allowed it to you know dry and what she discovered was that the clay didn't really remove the lint but it actually drew more lint out from the core of the locks that she didn't even know was there at first um, so I decided that I wanted to do a clay mask you know on my locks just to see what I might draw out lately because the weather's been so crappy um, and dry I've been doing different things to kind of maintain moisture. I've been using my steamer a lot, and I've been applying more oils and even have gone as far as to use some of the Carol's Daughter's hair milk, which is kind of a creamy product, and I typically don't put stuff like that in my locks, but it's been helping to keep my, you know, me retain moisture. And I have found with the hair milk that it hasn't been as bad you know it's not a thick cream it's just kind of like a almost like I guess if you used to use the um, pink oil moisturizer but it has a different slightly different consistency than that but it's similar as far as you know it when you rub it it disappears rather quickly but um, even though that being the case I still wanted to apply the clay just to see you know if I could what I would draw out of my locks so I've already applied it it's now about 821. I think I put this in at about a quarter till eight. So I mixed the clay with some apple cider vinegar in a container and just applied it at my scalps, scalp, scalps, scalp, and also pulled it on through the um, length of my locks as well. As you can see, all over. And I'm allowing it to dry um, just like this. Um, if you see it all bent up and stuff, that's because I had some curls. That's not you know the clay didn't draw my locks up that's just the, the remaining curls that I had from the other day but yeah I'm excited to see what's gonna actually you know if this is gonna pull anything out of my locks or if nothing else if it'll just be a really good conditioning treatment so my plan is to allow this to dry I'm gonna rinse it out and uh, probably then shampoo my locks too and then I'll see you know what they're looking like afterwards um, as far as the bentonite clay I got mine from Whole Foods um, I think it's like the Indian healing or something bentonite clay I'll show it to you it's the kind for external use only the kind that nappy girl 1979 had was for internal and external use but I just have the one for external use I actually do have some for internal use but it's already in a liquid form in a bottle um, for like you can use that kind of like to detox your your insides and I really didn't use it the way I should have when I first bought it so I need to go and use that up excuse me Amaya mommy's doing this please um, so yeah I'm gonna come back you know after I rinse it all out and shampoo it out and just let you know what my results were alright guys hi guys it's me I just wanted to come back really quick so I wouldn't forget to do it this is the clay that I use this is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secrets Indian Healing Clay, um, Deep Pore Cleansing, and like I said, I got this container. This is it says 100% natural calcium bentonite clay, and I think this is like a pound, and it was like maybe 9.99 or something at Whole Foods. I can't remember, but yeah, this is the one that I have, and I've had it for a little while, and I've done several facial masks. And I did do a hair mask, like I said, a while ago. So this lasts for a while. So if you don't want to order it online and you want to check out your local Whole Foods, or maybe even, I don't know if Trader Joe's has it, but Whole Foods carries this brand. All right, guys, I'll be back. Hi, guys. So it's your girl. I'm back. Do not panic. I am wearing a towel. Um, I just got out of the shower from shampooing out the, well, first I rinsed out the clay, and then I shampooed it out. 
Um, so here is my hair and for the most part my locks actually looked pretty good initially. Um, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I didn't really have much in there. But then I actually clamped a few locks in the back. Um, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I don't know if you can see that little piece of string that's right here. You see that? This is actually, so um, there's a YouTube video here. I don't know who did it. I don't remember. There's a, a guy and he's showing you how to incorporate basically stray hairs back into your locks using a needle and thread. So you basically um, thread a needle with a little short piece of thread um, and you put the needle through your lock and then you would take like some of this loose hair and you would put that inside of the loop of thread and as you pull the needle through the lock it pulls that hair into the shaft of the lock. Now I know that probably didn't make a lot of sense and if those of you are out there watching this and you really want to know um, about that I'll try to find that video but the reason I tell you that is because this lock here is one of the locks that I had attempted to do that with and the thread broke and I could not get it out of my lock but after my bentonite clay rinse uh, there's the thread interesting also I had a couple of other locks uh, I don't know if you can see that little lint on the end of this one. I didn't notice that before I did the clay rinse. So there is a little bit of, can you see that lint? Um, there's another one I have. I put these clips on them so I could find them. There's this one here. Can you see that little lint ball right there at the end? So, um... Yeah, overall, I will say that, let me get, there's another little piece. Um, well, I'm trying not to pull my hair out. But yeah, I can say that this clay does um, draw out certain things out of your locks. I'm sure as they dry, I may actually run across more little pieces of, I think that's a piece of lint, looks like maybe. Um, I may actually see other, other pieces of lint. But I just wanted to show you guys... Um, when I saw Nappy Girl, um, 1979's daughter Peyton's hair, and all the lint that you couldn't see before, you could see even more lint embedded, I was like, wow. Um, so I'm kind of happy right now. Like I said, my hair's not completely dry, but so far I don't see any major um, issues. I think that might be a little bit of conditioner or something. But like I said, as it dries, I will be able to see... Um, because I may actually end up washing my hair again. But I'll actually see if this drew anything out. The lighting's kind of weird, so I'm looking in my camera trying to see certain things. And I can't tell if that's just the way my camera looks. Because all my locks look like that. So I don't think that's anything. But yeah, there were some little pieces of lint on the end. Particularly in the back, which is where you typically will have lint. Oh, there's a little point ball. Fortunately for me, I think I'm pretty diligent on a regular basis of looking for lint. So, um, I think that's something. That's just a piece of Amaya's hair. That's not. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty diligent on searching for lint. So, mine is probably not as embedded as uh, Peyton's was. But, um, yeah. Just wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting when I saw that piece of thread that I hadn't seen that I thought, you know, was lost or had just broken off and I could not get it out of my hair. And now, then that was, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how many months ago that was that I did that. So it was really interesting that it came out today with the clay. Um, let's see, is that a piece of lint? A little piece of lint there. So yeah, I'm thinking as my hair begins to dry, I'll be able to see if there is lint in here. But it looks like most of the lint that I'm seeing is on the surface, like I can just pluck it off. But I did not notice it prior to um, using the clay. So just something for you guys to consider. Alright guys, I will see you soon. Bye.